celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Prophecies that your son died and rose again, 
Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Francis Sifium, who has fallen asleep, asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us sit for the liturgy of the world. First reading. A reading from the book of Lamentation. My soul is shut out from peace. I have forgotten happiness, and now I say, my strength is gone, that hope which came from the Lord, brooding on my anguish and affliction, is gale and warm wood. My spirit ponders it continually and skins within me. This is what I shall tell my heart, and so recovers hope. The favors of the Lord are not all past. His kindness are not exhausted. Every morning they renewed. Great is his faithfulness. My passion is the Lord, says my soul. And so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him. To the soul that searches for him, it is good to wait in silence for the Lord to save. My passion is the Lord. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The
and the life, says the Lord. He who believes in me shall never die. Glory and praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Reading according to the Holy Gospel of St. Luke, when he crucified Jesus there and the two criminals also, one on the right, one on the right, the other on the left, one on, one of the criminals hanging there abused him. Are you not the Christ? He said, save yourself and us yes. as well. But the other spoke up and they rebuked him. Have you no fear of God at all? He said. You got the same sentence of condemnation as he did. But in our case, we deserved it. We are praying for what we did. This man has done nothing wrong. Jesus said, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Indeed, I promise you, he replied, Today you will be with me in paradise. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us. Can you just give us a chorus? Mount Zion Lighthouse. <laughs> Stayed over there and will never remember to come back here again because Nigeria is a very good place. They will never want to come because this country is good and sweet. So it's very painful to tell somebody bye bye as we are telling our brother bye bye. That's why all of us gathered here. Well, of course, we know that this death is 
an inevitable end that all of us will definitely pass through. But it begins with birth. You are born in your family. You spend nine months in your mother's womb and come out. And begin the journey of life. When you become a man, a lot of things pass through you. Survive. You survive, you walk. You make it. Sometimes you lose. And at the end of the day, you see. the morning with the dew, just like man is just like the grass. I wake up in the morning with the dews and it's blossoming. The grass is blossoming in the morning and in the evening. It fades away because the sun has really touched it, so it has to fade away. And above all, death, death is for everybody. The child in the womb is old enough to die. A child of five years is old enough to die, 17 years is old enough to die. So sometimes what we say, painful exit, is not in, in God's book. Since a child of one day is old enough to die, death does not choose. Death. death chooses whoever he wants. He comes to the family and chooses. Whether he's the only child or not, death will choose. Whether he's a child that was born after 18 years of marriage, death will come and choose that person. It does not select. It does not select. The rich die. The poor die. The average man also die. So it is an inevitable end. But the problem where we have problem is we're talking of death, death on the flesh, and we are buried and they turn to the mud. We have another death. If you live your life, a whole life, a whole long life, no matter the age God has assigned to you, and at the end of the day you die, you do not see God, you are dying the second death. You are dying. But if you die and see God, you are not dying again. You have seen the face of God and remain with God eternally. So let us, if our brother has made mistake, or if he has not made any mistake, he lived well, let us, those who are living, not make that mistake of not dying the second time and not seeing the face of God when we die. When you die, you can see the pain of death. Even your brother will find it very, very difficult to touch your corpse. They will not want to come nearer to you. You will not eat again. They will, somebody will choose the kind of dress he's going to wear you. You are not the one to choose, but they will choose the kind of dress they're going to give you, wear you. And they will tear that dress. Ordinarily, when you are alive, you will not wear a torn dress, true or false. But when you are dead, you will be worn a torn dress. Brothers and sisters, let us live a responsible life. A good life. And this responsible life is based on two commandments of Christ. Love of God and love of brother and sister. Love of neighbor. That is the only tools that will make us not to die a second death. Let us love ourselves. Let us love God. Be committed to love God. Do not be a number. Be a member of the, the worshiping community where you belong. Love God in earnest. Be honest to your people, people around you. Show concern to people around you. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now he has gone to rest in peace. He does not have any problem again. And they have brought Nepal to you. And they have driven her from the school. school no school fees. He has no problem. He is not they part of it. The class so He has come to rest in peace. May his soul and souls of all 
rest in this statement, the moment of silence. Confidence to God our Father, who raised his son, Jesus Christ, from the dead, that he may give comfort to the living and eternal rest to the dying. For our departed brother Francis, may our brother Francis, who received the grace of baptism, reap his fruits as he enjoys the vision of God in the happiness of eternal life. Our response is to life. Remember with love and affection the life of our departed brother Francis. May he always be in our prayers as we ask God's mercy to forgive his sins. We pray thee, O Lord, true life that never ends. For those who are left to mourn their loss, may they be born of the brightness of their resurrection and of the day when they will meet again their brother, their father, their husband, whom they have lost a wife. We pray thee, O Lord, true life that never ends. Let us also pray for a good death for ourselves. We cannot just pray for the death only, but for ourselves, because one day we will die. Let us pray for a good death. May the faith of our beloved brother and faith of all other saints inspire us for the rest of our days, so that we may remain true to the faith which has been handed to us. We pray thee, O Lord, true life that never ends. But as we say, uh, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Then let us pray. Father, because you are the love of life, in whom there is no darkness, and that will answer us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We will now have our factory. We now ask... Uh... Abraham, blessings am I. I am blessed in the morning, blessed in the evening. Abraham, blessings am I. Hallelujah. Abraham, blessings am I. Oh, my God. 